Hello viewers and welcome to Tea Time on PLUS TV Africa. If you are joining us for the first time, this is an entertainment analysis show that covers everything in regards to the entertainment industry from music to art to acting to your favorite celebrities who are either giving each other basketballs or saying the wrong things. We will dissect and analyze. And when I say we, we are more than that. But today I have my namesake, Ifoga Oshuke. How's it going? I'm great, I'm great. Are you great. sure? Yeah, very good. Talk to me, Faye. About she, 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 everything is, yeah. Yes, actually, and it's, the way the setting uh, is, it's, it fits therapy. Ah, uh, okay, mm. okay. This money, a bit... Money, $100 million. Oh, wowzy. You see, all they help me, How man. We, we can't talk about this. <laughs> we we'll talk about it? what? Uh, I, you know, we should make $100 talk. million. You know how many people that I've been talking to about it? Well, what how did they say? Like, I need action people. People that are just wired money into my account. Uh, you are like, okay, so you want to beg for $100 million. I'm not begging for it. And so do something about it now. I should do Sell something. Sell a kidney, then one heart. Do you know who is buying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you go to Black Market, stuff, they'll, they'll tell Where's you. Where's the Black Market? I don't know. I don't even know where it is. If I put on at least 100 million, you have to do something. You don't know. You don't I know. I said I want know. to sell the kidney. Do you know where they say <laughs> you are now? I, oh, you want to talk to me now? I thought you don't want to talk to me before. I, I said, <laughs> you know, you're bringing solutions. You're preferring solutions. So, yeah, I let's, don't know. Let's talk. I'm just I'm giving suggestions, not solutions. Oh, okay. Okay. Before you're going to say, now, it's me that asks you to sell your kidney. I no, no, no. I'll be fine. I have to now. Anyway, how are you? Has. I was no yesterday. Bad, no bad. Good, yeah. good, good, okay. good. Okay, sure, yeah. shall we? Yeah, let's do that. All righty. Okay, so we have a bunch of conversations to dissect today. We also have a talented guest in the building, some music, some jazz, some action. So please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned with us. On the agenda of the day is Kemi Olunoyo's controversial Nigerian journalist. Kemi has advised women to stop showing their pregnant bellies on social media. The self-proclaimed investigative journalist took to her Twitter page to share this piece of advice. According to her, um, many may not be happy with the pregnant woman and may try to harm her and her baby. In her words, and I quote, stop showing your pregnancy online. Many are not happy for you. Many have lost theirs. Kemi, please, before, me, before social media, we did not knock door to door to show people our stomachs. So learn from Adesua and whoever, one other girl, Leano from South Africa, just deliver safely. What do you think? I think it's a it's an it's it's a Nigerian mentality thing. Mm. I don't think it's um I don't think it's one yes, it's safe to say because anybody that tells you there's no idea they're lying. <laughs> do you understand? They're actually there. Do you understand? So we know these things are actually applicable, but at the end of the day is what works for you. And if you've built enemies over the years and anybody feels the need to want to harm your unborn baby, I don't think whether or not you show it, they will still find a way of finding out. So I think it's an African because we've seen people who've shown their babies and had safe deliveries. So it's not like it is, um, how do you put it, cast in stone that even the moment you show your pregnancy, you know, according to the Yorubas, <laughs> you know, you start having miscarriage. It happens. Yeah. It happens. We, if you watch um, Nollywood movies and if you watch movies, actually, you know they're only acting things that they've seen or they've heard about. So these things are actually there. It's not like, so before you even come and fed you more meal, <laughs> I'm telling mm -hmm. you that I actually believe in you guys. But <laughs> I'm not saying it's cast in stone that everybody who does it will get that. So, yeah. Yeah, Amazing. I mean, I like that you said it's, um, it's like a superstitious thing. Mm. Um, I, I, I must say, though, with I agree to Kemi in some regard, <coughs> but I don't think I have the same reasons as to why I agree mm. to her. So I don't think it's because somebody's going to come and eat my baby. Um, but in general, I think it's always good to use discretion and know when you're giving too much information. Mm. Social media is a wild place, and wild things have happened. Mm. Um, so it is not insane to say be careful and um, thread carefully even if it's with relationships with a new job with a new car be very careful as to how you do that now it doesn't mean that if something like you said if something happens um then i would um if, if i put it up then something will happen to me but i would say this though when it comes to social media i would say be careful with your timing so you can upload this, but you don't need to upload it as it is hot, which is the only reason why I might not do it. Because pregnancy is very delicate. You don't know anything can happen. You might not be able to keep the baby till mm -hmm. delivery. Something could happen to the baby. And I don't think I always want to share every single thing like that with the audience. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's the same way why people don't want to put relationships online. Because if you put Thomas, um, five, six, seven posts, and then mm -hmm. Thomas is now done, and then there's now J James. Da -da -da. Not that there's anything wrong, but you're just attracting a bunch of people.
people to know more in your life than they than they need to. If you don't mind and you don't care and you have the stamina for that, then sure. So I think that's the same thing for me. So what I usually do is that I post my wins way after it's already happened. That's what I usually do. Um, even when I want to put a location or something, I've either already arrived there and then, you know, I've settled. I'm probably even done with what I want to do. Then I can start to post on social media. And I know this is something that um, um, influencers do a lot because there are people who can stalk you. I have a guy that prays for me every single day and tells me the news and what he's doing. And it can be cute, but then there's also people that are that committed that don't have good intentions. So it's just good to be really, really smart about it. Well, as for me, I just feel like there's certain things that are not supposed to be eaten. If Jesus Christ or God wanted your pregnancy to be eaten, you wouldn't make the stomach bulge after a while. So if the stomach is bulging, that's something you can hide normally. I saw Reno's post uh, where he said um, his wife delivered and nobody knew about it, that the pandemic really helped them because she was at home. She wasn't allowed to go out. That's understandable. But now, because my wife is pregnant, I'm keeping her in the house. When we want to go out, you know, we cover, we shield that, put her in the car. I think that's just doing way yeah, well, too much. I'm talking about social media now, no? Like yeah, no, I'm talking about physically as well. Right. No, social media is different, but physically it's another. Physically, it people from, hide their bellies. Yes, people do. Reno put out a post that no one knew his wife was not even his neighbors. He said no one apart from. Well, myself it's not because there was a pandemic, like you mentioned. Do you think that he would do something like that if there was no pandemic? Well, we, we, I think the message it was passing was that people need to hide their pregnancy right. and keep certain things a secret. That, for right. instance, he now put it there that the pandemic helped us. Mm. Do you understand? So it wasn't like it was something he wouldn't have done on a normal day he would have still done it but it was better for him because the pandemic helped him so I, even as much as i want to agree with all of those things i also think that this is a natural state that a woman would get into the moment she's pregnant and it's really hard so if i'm saying that what, what, what makes you think my neighbor is not a witch what makes mm. you think the the nanny coming to i mean the lady coming to clean the house is not a witch what makes you think the person washing my clothes is not a witch so there are so many people that can actually do things to you so it's not about the world people People. you get me yeah no i feel you okay sha I, I, would you put your wife's pregnancy on social media ah uh, wow that's the i don't know you don't, I don't know. know i really don't know ah with all the extension we give this morning you don't know where you stand i don't know that's if i get married in it just hypothetically fair we don't you don't need to literally be married and have a have a pregnant wife to know whether or not you're okay with putting her on social media on social media, uh, well, like you said, I, I will. I will, actually, mm. but the timing will be different. So yeah. if I'm putting out um, a big stomach, then she has delivered. If I'm yeah. putting out baby bombs, then she's nine months gone. Uh, uh. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, so the timing will be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, same. All right, let's move on. Nigerian rapper Vector has advised women on how to protect themselves from men who touch them inappropriately. Dear single women, okay, um, if men won't stop touching you, get a taser. Make sure it's one of those that doubles as another thing like a key holder. The results will be shocking, henceforth, he tweeted. In response to an interaction that he got from this tweet, he said, This lesson is something men are forced to understand about life. If no one will help you, you help yourself. It is okay for you to be shocked by their act. It is okay for them to be shocked by yours too. It shock you. It shocked me. Shock oh, you. shock me, go on. Anyway, Victor, Victor, who recently um, welcomed a baby with his partner, is known to be quite blunt and vocal about social topics on social media. I don't know how I, I, don't know how I feel about this. Um, I, I don't know. I think um, it's been said so many times that women need to protect themselves as well, mm -hmm. especially from those predators we have out there. I saw a video over the weekend of a girl who was harassed at, somewhere in Aja, and she said the other men were looking, you know, they were just looking I while the man yeah, was, was you sad. know, touching her and stuff. So imagine this, that, um, this girl had something to defend herself mm. with. I think the guy would have taken off and be wondering or he would have been, sometimes it could turn out worse but most times it's actually protective especially when you have to work alone so you just need to follow the law and know what is um criminal to old on the streets of lagos or on the street of wherever you are so you know what weapon i can carry what can i carry so i think um there was a time they were even teaching ladies how to make their own pepper spray and stuff you get because i think ladies need to protect themselves because you see that this men don't want to learn so let's start teaching them bits by bits Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm very torn between this yeah, because it's a, it's a dicey one. Because I agree. I mean, I think the intention is very good that you want to um, teach 
the vulnerable people how to protect themselves, right? It's the same thing we do to our children. Like, don't mm. talk to this stranger. Don't do mm. this one. But... We've gone beyond that. We now teach our kids Kung Fu. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, first of all, when I read it and I saw single women, I was mm. already taken aback because... Mm. Oh. Okay. What does that even mean? Women. Does, women are you trying to general. say that? I don't know. Are you trying something... to say married women are okay, not... See, I am going to proudly say that. This is my feminist instincts coming out here. But it, if it sounded a bit condescending in it in a way like the first time that you started with single women so that means that if you have a man next to you then you're safe and that's not true married women get harassed but you said next all to sorts you, of women next to you yes next to you or if you have a man if you have a that? man that's what i mean oh, okay. yeah so like if you have a man then you know you're you're better <laughs> and all of that i i i want us to just thread carefully because i went and i started looking at vector's tweets i i didn't go too far because i don't have all day but um I wish you men had more energy on um, talking to the guys. Advocating. Yes. Somebody that does a good job at that is um, adequately good. So I know that it's very possible for you to do both. Mm -hmm. For you to teach girls, if you're really concerned about our safety and that's your heart and stuff, teach girls how to protect themselves, yes, and da 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 But pepper spray, no pepper spray. A, a, a perverted person is a perverted person, and that conversation needs to be had. Mm. And I wish he balanced that out, even in this tweet. Mm. Like, you know, we're ready, even the guys, what, what, you guys, what are you doing? We were doing paper spray. What are you people doing to the people that are actually, that we have to use paper spray on? I we're wish he had guys. a more balanced conversation. We don't see it. We don't hear it. What we hear louder than anything is why we dress the way we dress, why we went to the guy's house, why didn't we have paper spray? Now we should get paper spray. It's a bit weird for me. But again, I don't want to be too harsh because I know that his intentions are very good and mm. that the wisdom he has shared is not va it's not crazy. Like, we need to actually learn how to protect ourselves. I know I used to do the key stuff in SA because South Africa was a very wild place. I used to have my keys in the middle of my hand points like that. And all, the, and all of that. And so somebody taught me. It doesn't matter who, if it's a man or a woman. But let's just... I feel like we can do a lot more better. There is a huge gap with male celebrities and the conversations around men. Don't be mm. teaching us how to do better. Trust me, we don't need Vector to come and take this thing for us to know that we need to be able to protect ourselves. Truth is, this Just is do I, think, I think this is part of the reasons why we don't even like to talk because if we was just talking and then you're talking, like this man, yeah, no, 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 say what I can't hold hear on. you. I, don't, I can't hear you. Say what you want to say because you just r r ran over that word and I didn't hear anything. I was saying it. No, okay, go on. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so like I was saying, I said, I think um, the reason why a lot of men don't even, you know, participate in this thing because you begin to get different opinions, you know, the conversation is not enough. Meanwhile, we have a lot of men that are advocating against rape. We have a lot of men that are advocating against rape, against perverted men. We have a lot of men that would not even condone their own friends, you know, doing stuff. I saw something the other day about um, a guy was attacking a woman and the guy ran in and attacked the guy. He doesn't know him from Adam, mm. you understand? But we know there are men that will not stand to see any woman abused. So, but I tell you now, start saying, eh, you guys are not talking, but you guys are teaching us how to. So you just something, give, you, you, hold up, hold up. Okay. Something has to give we have to you know if the talk is not working are we going to look for another way to get women protected now do they say stealing is a crime stealing is a crime do we still have people that steal oh killing is a crime killing is a crime do we still have people that kill have we had enough talk about robberies yes we have have we had enough talk about uh, murder so yes we are twisting, oh. twisting the conversation deeply deeply As well like, like I, I like the fact you started with your feminine instinct so i know i'm not going to win this talk because your feminine instinct will keep kicking it will no, keep kicking it will keep kicking because my feminine instinct i can't are have kicking, a conversation when your feminine instinct is turned why? on why why because why you won't let me you because you wouldn't see any voice of reasoning in whatever i'm how? saying how how does feminism align with with not being able to oh, um, well, accept voice of well, reasoning you're exposing know. yourself tell us how you feel Tell us how you feel. How do I feel? Yeah, no, you're, you're the one that's telling me now because my, my feminist, uh, feminist instincts are... are reason, yeah, exactly the talk. way you are right now. Very defensive, actually. Defensive. If I'm trying to have a conversation with you, oh, okay. you need to relax, okay? Relax. relax. It's mm. okay. Don't worry. What I'm trying to say is that you give two examples and they're not the same. You said, oh. you said to me now that um, 
you know, I'm, I'm saying to, I'm saying that men are not are not talking enough, but then no man is going to stand for for um, um, assaults and they will go and beat somebody, whatever, whatever. I'm not saying that. This is a social media conversation. That's what I'm saying. Don't expand the conversation. Why not? I am not saying if the, uh, because if my the argument conversation is, is ambiguous. No, you should no expand the conversation it. is not ambiguous. It is I am ambiguous. talking about celebrity men. That's very limited. On social media. Oh, very that's limited. what you're talking about. I didn't know that's about. what you're talking about. Of course, that's the conversation. Did you not listen to You're talking about said? celebrity men. I'm yeah. talking about men in general. What's our business with celebrity men? Celebrity men are like men like me. If, so what's well, the conversation with then celebrity don't reply. men? Say, say that you're you are deviating because the conversation here is that Vector went on social media. And I'm talking to you. <laughs> so and he's teaching you women how to protect themselves. Is it teaching them how to protect themselves against celebrity if men? What am I talking about that you are... You is are, it teaching... If my way. response... Relax. Vector, my response teaching. is about men on social media that have influence and they're not talking enough about how to um, how to um, talk you to the what? other you, guys. You, you That's just, what I'm talking about. I, I we think, want to I think about in this talk. case, you just want to, you know, you, we just want to compound an issue. What, Like you rightly said, Vector had... Um, good intentions when he put out the streets is it balanced are we talking enough that's another thing that's what now, we're talking hold about on, gone hold far. on have you gone back to his tweet and you've seen what vector has not spoken i'm sure i'm very i've not gone there but yeah. i'm very sure if i go to vector's tweets i would see a place where he has spoken okay, against me, I, me, against perverted me, men against me this present, against so the fact that he did not say that to today you, uh, and he's teaching oh you another way of protecting you, you, yourself that means you're not listening mean because, because i even started this conversation by saying that i went down to look at vector's tweets and i went really far i just didn't have all day so I, it's clear you're not listening to me but i'm going to ask you a question so maybe that will make mm. it clearer do you think that nigerian celebrity men talk enough about men now who are I don't need perverted. Nigerian celebrities. That's what I'm asking. If I, can you not I'm, I'm have a conversation? You. That's my answer. Are you going to teach me how to answer you? Oh my God. I said what I'm telling you is that I do not need Nigerian celebrity men to talk enough. I need the regular me and you on the street to talk enough as men against rape, against perverted men, against assholes, against violence, against women. I don't need Nigerian celebrity. We put it all on the celebrities like they are they, they, they are the god, whatever they are. No, I need men to speak up against it. So don't let us put it on the celebrity. Well, good enough that Vector it's is a, a celebrity. It's a question. It's okay. It's okay. But I'm so glad that Vector is a celebrity. But it's okay. All it's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Music break, please.